All right, I'm going to do this video here to show you how to replace the rear mounts on 2000. This is a 2005 Duramax Sierra Duramax. But uh, as you can see, the body lines on the cab doesn't look so bad in the picture here, but they don't line up. And it's a very bumpy ride in the cab. So we're going to replace the rear body mounts and the middle body mounts. That is right there. We're going to replace that and that one right up there on this side and the same thing on the other side. That's an 18 millimeter bolt that's in the body mount and I'm going to replace them with these. I bought the entire energy suspension polyurethane kit. These are what's meant to replace them. Polyurethane body mounts. But for the two rear ones, I got the hydraulic, the GM hydraulic mounts, which go on the 2007 and a half and up trucks. These are supposed to smooth out the ride on these older model trucks. There's the tag, that side. I think that was the part number that we want. Right there. That's the part number of these body mounts. I got one of them off of eBay, one of them from the GM dealership, but I'm gonna use two on the rear, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use two of these for the front. And you got these, they go on the underside, and they go on there just like that. See how they go on there? And they actually fit these two. So, I'm gonna use the pieces from the polyurethane on the bottom side and the big mounts on the top, and the bolt's gonna go through it. And there's the plates. So I'm going to go over there and we're going to start jacking up, jacking up the cab of the truck. All right, as you can see, I've got my jack in here. I've got a, two pieces of 4x4 four four, because otherwise, unless you've got a really tall jack, it'll probably be tough to jack it up high enough. And it still may be too tall for this jack, so we'll find out. But we're going to go about removing that there and you can, as you can see i painted my frame that's why there's black all around it and that's why it looks really good all right that's the bottom half right there All right, as you can see, there's the metal plate that you'll use, and that's the old bushing. Doesn't look, doesn't look too bad, but it's really soft. Definitely sagging, and then there's the bolt. So what we'll do now is jack up the truck a little bit to hopefully get that out of there. And you've got that lip that you have to clear up there and I'm also going to go ahead and go lift loosen the front all right here we are at the front mount I'm going to go ahead and loosen it also so we can jack this side of the truck up enough to hopefully get everything off That's gonna come out of there. There we go. That one's a little more rusty. A little more debris comes off those front tires. That one might be fun to get out of there. But now we can try and jack up the truck. Go to this other mount. And see if we're making any progress.
I can see the cab going up. I don't know how much more my jack has though. Just about. Need enough to be able to get this whole thing out of there. I may have to add another little piece of 2x6 underneath that to give me a little more reach because I think my jack is tapped out so let me go ahead and do that all right I had to put this on my running boards on the pinch wheel because I kept having it fall so I've got these brackets for my running boards and it's braced on those with two 4x4s and it allowed me to jack it up high enough to get this sucker out of here and that's with loosening the other side so now we're going to go back and get the hydraulic mounts from the newer trucks and replace it with that all right here's the old mount compared to the hydraulic mount that's what that looks like and this is my urethane bottom with the plate and we'll just use the stock bolt so let's see if we can get this thing up in there it's a lot bigger so we'll see how this goes all right this sits up in there real nice So we'll go ahead and put the bottom piece on. Probably gonna need two hands to do this part. Might just get it to stick on there. All right, so I got that on there. And I'll wait to put the bolt and plate back on there until I get the front mount on there I'm gonna try and get that one out of there but I may have to move my jack so we'll get that on there and then I'll bolt them up and let the cab back well let the cab down then bolt them up because as you can see there's a big old gap makes it hard for that bolt to reach all the way up in there but let me get that one replaced we should be good on this side and it's worth mentioning is I did loosen the mounts on the other side so that the cab would have a little more room to move I said, don't say anything, I'm recording. <laughs> I guess you get to hear that. So anyway. Here's what happens when you loosen the middle body mount. I completely forgot about the mount that was down there. And I could not get this out. <laughs> and as you can tell, it's dark. So, I've been messing with this for about an hour. And I went to the other side to loosen all them up and sure enough I saw the three body mounts and I had been hiding it with my uh, jack over here so anyway once you let all the body mounts loose I even let the front ones loose so I'm going to go ahead and change them they're right up here underneath inside the bumper as you can see my bumpers the whole body's lifted up off the bumper but anyway so that just lifts right out of there now so I'm going to stick my flashlight back up there <laughs> and look it comes right out so there's the mount the old mount and then there is the new mount let me grab everything so there's the new mount you got the piece that goes up against the body and then that's the bottom piece with the metal plate and the bolt that goes through it just like that so anyway I'm going to go ahead and replace that it's real easy I even moved my jack down here to try and jack that up higher 
because of that cup that's in there, as you can see, makes it pretty tough. But if you loosen the third body mount, I don't know if we'll be able to see it, but there it is right there, the third body mount, or the middle one on this side. So there's three underneath the cab, one underneath the radiator on each side, so that makes a total of eight. So there you go. Just take the bolts out, put the new ones in. They just slide right in there. Let's see if we can put this one in here. Sorry for the horrible lighting now that it's dark. All right. Now you can see, maybe, polyurethane mount is in. I'll stick the bottom piece right there with the plate and the bolt, and we'll lower everything down. And that's it. I'll come back and show you in just a second. The front mount, as you can see, it goes up here. And that's a 15 millimeter bolt head on the top with an 18 millimeter nut right there on the bottom. And it just came right on loose. So I'll put the new one in there. And as you can see, that bolt is in there. So you gotta move it out of the way. Well, trying to do this one handed is so fun. I can get that bolt there we go let me push it up there to stay a little bit retrieve my dropped bushing and then on this side as you can see the bushings have an oval to them on this one there's a little bit of flat inside there so you can't they won't turn completely so you got to line them up so that's sitting in there now we'll go ahead and get our bolt to drop down in there and then this piece just sucks right onto that part right there I don't know if I'll be able to get it with one hand but it goes on like that and then when you drop the body down you put the metal plate here and then the nut right up against the metal plate I'll show you when it's all done all right we're back to the middle one that I completely forgot. Let's see if I can get this out of here. I accidentally knocked that through so it's a little bit taller than it was all ago. So it doesn't really want to come out. So I'm going to have to squeeze it out. If I can. Let me see if I can do this here. Alright, I got to jack up another pump or so. And it slides right out. Now this metal piece, little mushroom head right here, and this piece are one. This rubber piece around the outside and all of this will actually slide off. So if it disintegrates, you'll just have the metal piece. But that's that. So now we're gonna replace it with the new unit. Give her a spin until she fits. There we go, that's the middle one. Like I said, we'll drop the body back down on them now. Let's see if I can reach my jack. The rear one is the hydraulic mount, and you can see it's already sitting down, and I got the bolt in it. So with everything loose up front, it made it a whole lot easier. Here comes the body. Alright, keep the jack on it, just a little bit of tension. It's not quite all the way down, but I should be able to reach the bolt holes and get it started before everything tightens up. And there's the other one right down there. 
So we'll have two, three urethane on each side and then the hydraulics. All right, as you can see, urethane mount on the top there. And then I've got the new energy suspension, the bottom piece right underneath, right in there. And then the washer with the bolt. And that's what came off of the middle one, and this plastic piece that was right underneath there. So that's the old setup. All right, I'm gonna tighten these suckers down and get this jack out from underneath this side and go to the other side. And I'll show you the body lines as soon as I'm done. On this side, you can see that the cab mounts have pretty much lined her up really nice. It's got a cab mount up there, one there. It's actually got a front mount, I guess you would call it, for your radiator support. Then it's got a mount right here, mount right here, and a mount right here. Let's go look at the other side. As you can see, I've got my mounts laid out. There's one right over there, you can't see it. But look at the body lines on this side. That's what we're about to fix by just installing these mounts. Jacked up, it's gonna look something like this, maybe a little taller. There's my jack, and we'll get under there and change those mounts out. All right, as you can see, the middle mount has come loose and the front mount of the cab has come loose and I can tell you that the radiator mount is also loose so it's just as simple as getting up here get out of there getting that thing to work itself loose I just got the impact on there. All right, there we go. Just pulled it out. And this one is always, it's almost tougher on the other side. I had to beat it out with a hammer, so I'll most likely have to do the same here. Unless I can. Yeah, that one's not, he's stuck. I'll get it out in just a second. See, that metal piece has been slid up inside the rubber piece, which is a little more loose right there. It allowed me to slide it up. As you can see, there's a little more stuck than normal. So we got it out. This one's a little more difficult because the jack's in the way. But it's nice and central. on the cab. Well, I'm sorry the camera's moving so much. I need to get myself a tripod to do these things. But I'm trying. Now, I gotta get this piece to stick. Put it on the bottom. Flash just went off because my battery's low. But we'll put it that piece right there and get it ready for the bolt. Well, it's starting to rain on me, so I've got to get it done quickly. But you can see how the body lines are not matched up on there. And I'm going to show you the camera as it matches up when I lower the body down back down.
here we go. All right, here we go. All right, it's lined up. Wait for that semi to go by. All right, I just took it for a test drive, and it makes a very, very noticeable difference with those new mounts on it. Mine were apparently wore out. Of course, the truck does have 250,000 miles on it. There's the pile of mounts right there. But definitely, as soon as you listen, all three, it's a piece of cake on either side, all three to get off there. So just make sure you loosen, loosen the one side and then remove the bolts from the other side that you're working on. And then when you go back with the side you replace first, go ahead and make sure you just get the bolts in, but don't tighten them so they're loose for the other side when you go to do the opposite side. So there you have it. It sits nice. It rides a whole lot better. It's a noticeable difference. I was shocked. But that's how to replace your body mounts on a classic body style GMC or Chevrolet 1500, 2500, all the trucks. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's only my second, so hopefully it was all right. But thanks for watching.